Senator Charagay, uh, um, I mean, is allowed to dream. Please don't stop the man from dreaming, but it is a bad dream. Uh, we should not be talking about extension of term limits. You know, um, Sam, dreams are valid. And a man is allowed to dream as many times as possible. So don't stop a man from dreaming. But I must say that that is a very bad and dan dangerous dream. Mm -hmm. Because it's very simple. What a man cannot do in five years or in 10 years mm -hmm. cannot be done even if that man or woman was added another five, 10, 20 years. So we must get into this culture of appreciating the fact that when you are given a position of responsibility, that you are only one among us very many people who can do the same job. Mm -hmm. So as somebody who is a good leader or somebody who exercises a sound leadership, mm -hmm. you must be able to fit within the framework of a country's vision mm -hmm. or a company vision. Now, the time you are given to run that vision, be it two years, be it five years, please do what you promise to do within that time. Right. When your time is up, please pack off and go peacefully because you're a good leader. You've been able um, um, uh, uh, to build capacity mm -hmm. within the team that you have left behind or within the team that will come to carry the vision forward. So a vision is not a person's vision. A national vision or a country's vision you know, is a shared vision. Anybody can be given an opportunity to provide leadership at any point in time. Right. Therefore, Senator Charagay, uh, uh, I mean, is allowed to dream. Please don't stop the man from dreaming, but it is a bad dream. Uh, we should not be talking about extension of term limits. We should actually be talking about reducing the term limits. I would have agreed with him if he said, listen, that because, you know, this one seat mm -hmm. has attracted a lot of interest. Can we limit it to one term? Seven year, one term. Mm -hmm. You do your, if you're lucky, you do your, 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 you run your term for seven years and you go home. For heaven's sake, this culture of people uh, wanting to uh, die in office or, you know, or struggling to extend your term because, they, they, you know, power is very sweet. Right. It is sweet, but please. Go home. The other things, like my, my brother Maura has told you, he's doing. He's serving the nation in other capacities. For heaven's sake, go home when your time comes. Okay. Don't hang into that office. That is why these offices are called public offices. Right. They don't belong to you, for heaven's sake. L let me say this, uh, uh, Sam. It takes about 24 months for a government to settle. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, funny enough, by the 36th month or so, we start uh, campaigning. Mm -hmm. So within a, a five-year period, about 40% of the time is spent trying to get to power and to settle. And then the rest is, is, is history. Now, if you have five years mm -hmm. and then you have another five years, that is good time enough. Even if you are to tell, say you, 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 you spend maybe three years in the usual uh, uh, mambo, -jumbo of polit mambo jumbo of politics, then the rest you can still work for the people. And, and, and we have a very good example. I still want to refer to President Mwai Kibaki. Mm -hmm. uh, he did not manage the politics very well, but we can credit him a lot uh, for what uh, the country was, uh, the state that he was in and, and what he was able to achieve. Right. It's the same case and, and, and I'm very happy that uh, UDA my party has come out very clearly that my good brother who you served with in the Senate uh, uh, you know the young lawyer uh, Cherarge is speaking uh, on his own uh, mm -hmm. I, I don't think I want to <coughs> labor the point uh, Americans have got a four-year term limit and uh, they have been presidents who have only been elected once and they were not re-elected like Donald Trump. He's trying to come back. Right. Uh, so you cannot therefore extend the term. I know for example in uh, Switzerland uh, they have a, a seven-year term limit of seven individuals who are president for one year each, so from each of the seven cantons. And, and they have managed it very well. I have, I have had the privilege in the past of meeting one of them when he was president. And, 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 and Switzerland is one of the most successful uh, societies uh, in, in the world, actually. It's a, very, it's, it's a good place if you go to Geneva. How do they elect that one person? The, 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 the seven, if, if, if I get it right, the, the seven are elected from the cantons, then they form like a council. Then they, they rotate, like you, you elect Maura, Sam, 
and then we serve collegiate. But then one year, everybody takes a turn. I'm sure they agree how they each one who will be the first and who will be the last. Mm. In that way, so you have like a chairman of the seven, and and it really helps, and it has really made the country to be very successful. And because they are multinational, they are multicultural. They are they are the Flemish, they are the French, the German. So they are able to help that kind of uh, you know division. Mm. And it was at some point it was considered by the way at independence, yeah, to be one of the things that we, we could have borrowed. In fact, it was a basis of Majimboism, if you mm -hmm. remember that that time. Eh? Mm -hmm. But now that we have gone pure presidential and we are following the American uh, Washington consensus, uh, the two-term limit is okay. These, these are nexus, by the way, Sam, eh? <clears throat> and we need to be objective in this the conversation. If you look at uh, Africa, when, 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 when we got independence, a lot of presidents served for many, many terms, and it was necessary for them to consolidate the base mm -hmm. of, of their country. So you have uh, uh, Jomo Kenyatta, 15 years, you have uh, Julius Kambarage Nyerere, 25 years, and you can go on and on and on. But since the 90s, at the advent of multipartism, then you have these uh, two terms, and more often than not, a president will serve his two terms and move on. And it is, uh, that is what UDA has, was, was clamoring for mm. uh, when we are saying that we do away with the dynasties eh? so that hustlers can also rise to become president so it has not changed president ruto uh, he has just done his one year term we hopefully pray that uh, he will be re-elected and i ask kenyans to re-elect him give him more time to attain his uh, agenda okay. but but after two terms we move on to the next and that is a position that is the constitution anything else can only be extra constitution constitutional some mm. and you would require to have a referendum on it it's a very serious issue okay I, I, I do see a strong case for us to, to, to transit from where we are now to right. move into a new system. But the issue of saying two terms of seven years each for a presidential, um, for a presidential, uh, for presidents, I don't think it's, uh, it's right. If anything, let's change from the system the way we have it right now and go parliamentary. And in that process because of... In, in, in this, this, <coughs> look, this constitution has been with us now for 13 years. Mm -hmm. We had a kind of a hybrid before. We had a president, but who also was from a constituency. The late Moe Kibaki was MP for Odaya. Right. The late uh, Moe was the MP for Cabernet Central, am I right? Uh, mm -hmm. so, Baringo Central. Baringo. Baringo Central. Mm -hmm. Baringo Central. The, the late Kenyatta, the first president of the country, was MP for Gatondo. Yeah, Gatondo, yes, the whole of Yes. Uh, so we, we need to, we <coughs> literally got that two together because the president could, could, could do a lot of things mm. and, and literally be accountable to the country through uh, uh, being a member of parliament also. Uh, it, it made a bit of sense that time of marrying the two together. But later on, we decided that we're going to transit and have either a pure parliamentary system or a pure presidential. The fact that we went the presidential system was wrong, in my opinion, from the beginning. And I was not <coughs> too keen on it. I wanted us to go the parliamentary system. Mm -hmm. So parliamentary system, a prime minister can be there for two years. He can be there for 20 years. <laughs> Netanyahu has been there for how long now? Yeah, quite a, he goes in, comes out. He goes in, in and out. <laughs> He's from the de facto <laughs> prime minister. <laughs> mm. He is He's there right. for the longest, you know what I mean? And accountable to the people always on the floor of the house. And you can see him there. He has to, he has to do a certain role. But, but, but what role? I mean, how would you elect the president who is ceremonial? He's not elected. He is uh, actually nominated by the by the ruling uh, party. Uh, the, or the by party. parliament. Well, parliament, like the parliament you. actually uh, is the one which ratifies that. Okay. But usually, it's the party with the majority that decides on a statesman, somebody who's acceptable across the board. And and I remember, for example, in uh, 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 in India, mm. one time they had that um, nuclear scientist, that very famous nuclear scientist, uh, Alam somebody. And in many countries, that's what they normally do. They have somebody who's respected, who is a retired judge, you get my point, or, or a scientist or a professor in the university or somebody who essentially is a statesman, is accepted widely across, <coughs> but again, is nominated by the, by, the, by the party that has the majority in the house, okay. and, and then passed by house, the house itself. Mm. It's ratified by the house, but he has, a very, he has ceremonial functions there. He has ceremonial functions there. Okay, all, all right. So, so I, 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 but he doesn't have any executive powers, by the way. Mm. Very limited executive powers, and, and that includes asking the prime minister to form the government every time there's an election, and 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 you know he looks at the party that has the number. Sometimes in this multi-party system, nobody has an absolute majority, so one is now forced to create coalitions. Okay, you, you see what I mean? Is this something you'd, uh, you've been keen on pursuing? Oh yes, I've been keen on pursuing this from the day from day one. 
Because that way the country is going to be united. That way anybody can become the prime minister and we will never see ethnic clashes.